You've booked your site months in advance, and then this happens. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, so let's talk about this. You picked a great week to go camping, packed up all your gear, the weather guy says all is clear, not much to worry about, you set up your site, and now you're enjoying a good time with your family and friends, and all of a sudden, the National Weather Service has issued a warning in your area, heavy rains and flash flooding are expected. The question is, are you prepared? Now I will say that I've had a few people come to me in the past and say, hey, I've spent a lot of money on my tent, I'm good. But the reality is that there are very few waterproof tents, most tents are water resistant, and they do leak. So if you ever had to wake up to a wet bed, it's no fun. So what's the solution? Get a tarp, a simple tarp can make all the difference in the world, especially if you set it up right. So let me show you what it's like to be in a rainstorm and all tarped out. Yet another downpour, which we've had almost all night long, and then this morning it cleared up a little bit, and um, we're just packing up in intervals, and then the shower just started. <laughs> it wants to make sure you hear it. Yeah, so that's minor in comparison to what we heard last night. But our tent is dry, it's dry, it's dry. No water on the floor, in the corners. It was a monsoon last night. And we had no water, not a drop. Not even condensation. Happy about that. So as you just witnessed, we went through some pretty torrential downpours. But each time, we remained dry. So let me share with you what we've done. We purchased a heavy-duty reflective tarp for our equipment. Besides providing rain cover, it keeps you nice and cool in the hot sun. We also made sure that when we purchased the tarp, it was three feet larger on each side of the tent than the footprint of the tent itself. On the four sides, we use extension poles with paracord. And on the corners, we'll use a flexible bungee cord. This allows the wind to go through without causing much damage. Now lastly, go to a hardware store and buy 10 to 12 inch nails. These are vital for holding everything down, especially when you have high wind conditions. It will hold it all together for you. So I hope this was helpful. And oh yeah, don't forget the ground tarp. And until we get together again, stay dry.